Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging quartic equation. Equation is x plus 1 whole power 4 plus x plus 3 whole power 4 plus x plus 5 whole power 4 equal to 83. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started straight away to our substitution. I will consider x plus 3 equal to t because the average of 1 and 5 is 3. So I consider x plus 3 equal to t. So I will write x plus 1 will be equal to t minus 2 and x plus 5 we can write it is t plus 2. Let us put the values of x plus 1 and x plus 5 in the original equation. So our equation will become I will write t minus 2 whole power 4 plus t power 4 plus t plus 2 whole power 4 equal to 83. Now I will put our terms in this manner t plus 2 whole power 4 plus t minus 2 whole power 4 plus t power 4 equal to 83. Now you can see for power 4 it is having expansion. So I need the coefficient for the expansion. So for that purpose I will use Pascal's triangle. Let's write over there 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1 for power 2. For power 3 it is 1, 3, 3, 1 and for power 4 it is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So we are having our required coefficients 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Now I will expand. I will write t plus 2 whole power 4 and then I will write t minus 2 whole power 4. Then I will check which term will be cancelled out once we will add. So I will write here t power 4, 1 is over. Now coefficient 4. I will write 4 times t cube times 2 for coefficient 6. I will write 6t square, 2 square. For coefficient 4, I will write 4t, 2 cube. And for last coefficient 1, I will write 2 power 4. Similarly, this expansion also, only the difference in sign, alternate plus minus sign will have. So this would be plus 60 square times 2 square. This would be minus. And then last term will be plus 2 power 4. Now we will add both as it is required here. So let's add. I will write which term we will cancel. It is 40 cube times 2, 40 times 2 cube. So I will write 2 t power 4 plus 6 times 2 square. So 6 times 4, 24 t square. And then 2 power 4 is 16. Let's substitute this value in the original equation in t. Let's put out there. So I will write over there 2 times t power 4 plus 24 t square plus 16 plus t power 4 equal to 83. Let's expand. It will become 2 t power 4 plus 2 times 24 48 t square plus 32 plus t power 4 equal to 83. Now 2t power 4 plus t power 4, I will write 3t power 4. Then it is 48t square plus 32 minus 83 equal to 0. So it will become 3t power 4 plus 48t square 32 minus 83 minus 51 equal to 0. Equation is divisible by 3. Divide by 3 t power 4 plus 16 t square minus 17 equal to 0. Now let's use quadratic formula. Factorization option is also available for us. So this is quadratic equation in t square. So I will write my left hand side t square straight away. Minus b so minus 16 plus minus under the root b square so 16 square 256 minus 4ac so it will be plus 68 
divided by 2a so 2 I will write after that minus 16 plus minus square root of 324 divided by 2. The square root of 324 is 18. So I will write over there 18 divided by 2. So once I will consider plus sign in between, then it would be 2 over 2. So 1 minus sign in between minus 16 minus 18 minus 34 over 2 minus 17. Now you can easily see two solutions are there. Let me write here t square is equal to 1 and t square is equal to minus 17. A square cannot be negative. So here we will get complex solution. Complex solution so rejected. Now from this equation t square is equal to 1 we will get two solutions plus minus one. Now what is our t that was x plus 3. Let's put back the value of t substitution in terms of x. So x plus 3 will be equal to plus minus 1 as t is equal to plus minus 1. Take away 3 from both sides. So x will be equal to minus 3 plus minus 1. Once I will consider plus sign, then I will write minus 3 plus 1, minus 2. Once I will consider minus sign in between, minus 4. So there are two real solutions, minus 2 and minus 4. Let us verify both the values. So I will write here verification. For x is equal to minus 2. So let me write our LHS. So minus 2 plus 1, minus 1 whole power 4 plus 3 minus 2, so 1 whole power 4 plus minus 2 plus 5, 3 whole power 4. So this value will be 1 plus 1 plus 81. So it is coming out 83 and which is our RHS. So x is equal to minus 2 is true solution. Now let us consider x is equal to negative 4. So I will write minus 4 plus 1. So minus 3 whole power 4. Minus 4 plus 3. So minus 1 whole power 4 plus 1 whole power 4. Minus 3 whole power 4 is 81. This value is 1. This value is 1. So 83 we are having which is equal to our RHS. That means this is also one true solution. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.